Hi, I'm Bob Jobin, a board member at the Neighborhood Gardens Trust and a community gardener here in the Point Breeze neighborhood in Philadelphia. And today I'm at Bouvier Community Garden, one of 45 gardens in the city whose land is permanently preserved and protected by the Neighborhood Gardens Trust. This year, more than ever, uh, it's been great to be able to get out into the garden, get some fresh air, uh, and safely grow our own food and produce. Community gardens have long served as neighborhood hubs in good years and in bad years. So we're thankful uh, that the mayor and the city have deemed community gardens an essential service this year. We've taken precautions to limit the number of gardeners in the garden at one time, uh, to bring our own hand tools, and to clean and sanitize commonly cut services. With these measures in place, and with the temperatures finally warming up, we're excited to uh, plant some tomatoes today. So for planting a tomato, I want to dig my hole as deep as possible to get as many roots to grow out from the stems of the plant as I can. So I'm going to dig a nice deep hole here with my trowel. And take a little fertilizer, a little tomato tone fertilizer here with some calcium for good fruit growth and then just sort of mix that into the soil. I'm gonna take one of my tomato starts here. Uh, Cherokee Purple is the variety here. Started these in the windowsill. And you can see all the little white hair-like things on the stem will turn into roots. So you really wanna dig these and bury them as deep as you can. And so you take them and you just bury it in the soil Firm it down in the hole and give it a, a good water with your watering can. Once the soil is evenly moist and the water's flowed down, I'm going to come in and mulch on top with some straw. And this is straw that we saved over from autumn Halloween festivities last year. We just leave the bales here in the garden to rot down over the winter. And then it makes a great moisture retentive mulch for vegetable crops come the new season. So we just wanna mulch that all around the young tomato start there. And you wanna make sure you, you again water before you mulch so you're sealing in that moisture and then you can water again right on top of the mulch. 